Hi, welcome to another episode of Fishing with Phil. We're up here on Phil Pot Lake today in Virginia with Keith Ray. Keith, well-known fisherman, knows a lot about this lake. We're going to fish for some walleye. What do you got here today, Keith? We've got a bottom bouncer rig we'll be using today. It's a three ounce weight on a wire harness. We'll put a three foot leader with a night crawler harness on it. That's a two hook spinner rig. Got a number three French blade, beads, float, a couple of hooks. Take a half a walleye and hook to this. We'll be tipping it right along the bottom with a trolling motor, trolling about one mile an hour. The harness will stream out behind the weight. We'll be uh, running about 25 foot of water. And they'll peck it like a little catfish. When he goes peck, you just pull up on it. Don't care. Just pull up on it. If he's there, you got it. If not, drop it back. He'll peck it again. As long as a piece of worm left on that hook, he'll keep pecking it. All right, let's go check it out. Pinch him in two where you got about two halves. If he'll be still, I usually thread a little bit on the first hook. About a half inch up on the first hook. Take the next hook. Just stick it through the worm. About two or three inches behind there. I don't know if you got a lens that'll show this in the water or not. But it'll be going through the water like that. I'm spinning and crawl a trailing out behind. The spinner will attract them and the bait will seal the deal. Seal the deal. We use a float on it. A lot of times the wind or boat waves will stop your forward motion and the float will keep your hooks from hanging on bottom so much. And when you do hang, Keep a real tight line. Don't do a lot of jerking. Just keep a real tight line. Pull on it if it won't let your drag slip. You need to keep your drag where it slips real easy. These fish, these are small hooks, and sometimes you catch big fish on them. And if you don't keep your drag real light, mm -hmm. most time I want my drag where I have to tighten it up to bring a fish in. Mm -hmm. You want him when he hits to be able to take it. So I keep it, you know, fairly loose. When you're letting it down, you keep thumb pressure on it so you uh rig won't tangle where you sink them. You let it out slowly till it hits bottom. You just hit bottom. You want you have to keep letting it out as we go along till you reach the depth where it just tick along the bottom. You want to go tick and pull up like this right here. And if you got him, you got him. If not, drop it right back, let it go to ticking bottom again, and he'll pick it again. looking for a night crawler biscuit for breakfast. <laughs> we doing better than the others. We use silver, gold, and chartreuse mostly. I have caught them on copper. I use silver most time on sunny days and do good and on cloudy days chartreuse seems to do better. they're not on bottom where you can catch them like this, they'll be suspended out off the end of these points. And uh, we use that leg coil and troll about 25 foot deep and about 25 to 30 foot of water. Use little uh, shed wraps, little plugs like that. And you can catch them pretty good on them. We we'll use little silver spoons a lot. The only thing wrong with using the silver spoons, the bass will wear you to death. Hmm. 
It ain't enough to catch a 10 or 12 bass up here trying to catch a walleye. You know what? Before the wind picks up. He feel like he got shoulders. He may just been working out there. Come to, come to Papa, baby. Phil wants some suck. <laughs> yeah, he's hiding under the baby. Look at him. Of course, a lot of times you have a 17-inch one like this, and that back hook I have him in the side. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think he's a big one. I believe that's what he is. He's hooked in the side. He might be big enough. Put him in that net shape. I believe you got you some supper there, Phil. I think so. But see, he's hooked in the, see what I'm talking about, how he's hooked? Uh -huh. That back hook got him, he hit the front hook, the back hook got him in the gill, and it make, gives him the advantage. Yeah, that's another, about 19, 20 inches, I believe. Now shut your mouth. Be a good boy. Yes. Eighteen and a half inches. Good wall. Good wall. I mean, mmm, mmm, good. <laughs> Got it. Drop it. Nice Drop it back. Yeah. Yeah, he's on there. It's coming. Just tighten the drag up a little bit more. Yeah, tighten the drag up just a little bit more until you wind him in. Don't pump and wind, wind steady. If you pump and wind, the way to knock the hook out of his mouth. Just wind steady. First walleye. What do you think? This is my first walleye. Yeah, he's too little. He's got to be 18 inches. He's about 14. You can throw him back. Say, so catch you later. Walleye on Philpot Lake. <laughs> yeah, there's little ones like that. It's, it's sometime it, we call them riders. Riders? Yeah, you'll hook one and he'll just swim along with you while you're trolling along. About three uh -huh. ounce weight, you can't even tell he's on there. <laughs> Every once in a while, you feel him go bump and he'll feel like you're getting a bite. Uh -huh. But it'll be a little walleye. Walleye run. They go up the little Tennessee River. Uh huh. What comes into Fontana. We fished that one year in uh, April. We was catching about uh, 15 to 20 walleye a day. About 15 to 20 big white bass a day. Five or six smallmouth a day. Four or five big crappie every day. We're throwing them world famous white bucktails. <laughs> it was people lined up and down the river fishing off a bank. Uh -huh. I could have sold them for five dollars a piece. Are you, do you make those bigger for walleye? No. No, same size? I was using crappy huh. jigs. And he was eating them up. There's something about a bucktail with fish. Trout like them too. They look like a little mama. They need a little minnow, we'll eat one. They look like a little minnow to, to the fish, obviously. I mean, I don't guess they eat hairballs in their regular diet. <laughs> That's the key, just gently sweep it. Sweep it and yeah. wind. A little sharp hook that'll get him. Don't pump him, wind up steady. You get a pump him. Yeah, shake that weight off. That's why I come and got yours. Look here, eat all my worm. That's right. <laughs> he did. Two bites, he had my worm. Half my worm. 
my words hanging out of his mouth. He's ain't mine. <laughs> <laughs> he already took a dive and he's not up near the top yet here. That's a good sign. Hey. No, a little bigger. No, a little. no, it just looks bigger. It just looks that, bigger. That four or five foot of water will magnify it. Bacon's got even nicer teeth on them. <laughs> Catch you later. Come back when you grow up, boy. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. Got another one. I believe he's bigger than yours. Oh, I forgot. I say cigarette, John. This little area. See the limit on them up is 18 inches, and this one's uh -huh. probably 16 inches. So before they put, they just put a limit on it last year. Before they put a limit on it, that was a keeper for me. I'd keep them 16 inches because they're good frying size. <laughs> Got Feel like you got shoulders. It may just have been working out there. <laughs> come, to, come to Papa, baby. Phil wants some supper. <laughs> yeah, he's hiding under the baby. Yeah. Look at him. Of course, a lot of times you have a 17 inch one like this, and that back hooker have him in the side. <laughs> <laughs> Makes you think he's a big one. I believe that's what he is. He's hooked in the side. He's nice fish though. He might be a good Yeah, guy. he might be big enough. Put him in that net. Let's go. I believe, you got, you, I believe you got you some stuff of that, Pooh. I think so. But see, he's hooked in the... See, what I'm talking about how he's hooked? That uh -huh. back hook got him. He hit the front hook. The back hook got him in the gill, and it makes, gives him the advantage. That's another about 19, 20 inches, I believe. Now shut your mouth. Hey, good boy. Yes, 18 and a half inches. Good wall. Good wall. I mean, mmm, mmm, good. <laughs> Seventeen and a half is the most you can get out of him. What's keeper size? Eighteen. That's a chunk to throw back, ain't it? Yep. Get ready. Scoop him. There's your nose one for the all the way down the floor. Another keeper.
drop it back now. Just keep it, just keep it just steady. Just hold what you got. You can't drop it back to the bottom now at 45 foot deep. You'll keep chasing it when it's out over the water. There he is. There he is. <laughs> See, I told you to keep chasing it. Yeah, right. Walk around the boat so we don't get in the boat. Does he feel like a monster? Uh, I don't know yet. That's well planned. Yeah. It's pulling pretty good. Bill Pot Lake Walleye coming to the surface. Yeah, he's not as big as the other one. I don't think. They fool you a lot. Oh, uh -oh there he goes. <laughs> we call it growing up. He gets you the boat and he grows up. <laughs> In your face. We're going to put a sack of you. <laughs> Every time I see your face, they take off. <laughs> oh, that's a nice one. <laughs> and he's mad. You need to uh, pull your drag off, give us a little slack here so we don't break it. Man, he comes out 17 and a half. Almost 18. 